Hi everyone. Sometimes we use indirect expressions instead of directly naming something unpleasant or embarrassing. We call these expressions as euphemisms. So today, can we know about some euphemisms? Okay. Why do we need euphemisms? You will sound insensitive if you don't use euphemisms. You won't be able to understand much of what you read and listen if you don't know euphemisms. In our daily life, we should know a lot of euphemisms to convey our ideas and expressions in a much decent and polite way in every field that we deal. Can we learn some euphemisms about money? To express rich, we can use these terms well-to-do, well-off, wealthy and affluent. So, instead of saying rich, we can use these terms. There are many well-to-do families in Chennai. My friend's family is pretty well-off. So, these well-to-do and well-off denotes rich. Our charity relies on several wealthy donors. The current budget can be criticized that it benefits the affluent. So, the usage of wealthy and affluent denotes richness. Instead of saying to make a lot of money, use the euphemism to do well for oneself. So, let us try these in sentences. You are doing well for yourself. Why don't you get a new house? So, instead of saying to make a lot of money, we use the euphemism to do well for oneself. So the example can be, you are doing well for yourself, so why don't you get a new house? In order to express poor, these euphemisms can be used. Economically disadvantaged, needy, low income, underprivileged and in need. So can we learn the euphemisms through some sentences? Okay, the college offers scholarship programs for economically disadvantaged students. So instead of saying poor, these kind of polite euphemisms can be used. Our company provides assistance to needy families in the nearby village. So instead of calling them poor, you can call them as needy people. Most of the low income people are in favor of developments. So the low income people also denotes the poor. But definitely, this is a decent way of calling them as low-income people. Art and music have been cut from many schools which serve the underprivileged. So the term underprivileged also denotes the euphemism. We shall be collecting funds to donate the families in need. So in need also represents poor. So this is a kind way of saying them that they are in need. Instead of saying poor country, use euphemisms such as third world country or developing country. I came to London from a developing country like India. So don't call countries as poor. Instead we can say that third world country or developing country. I came to London from a developing country like India. Instead of saying it as money owed, it could be expressed with euphemism, outstanding balance. You have received this letter because there is an outstanding balance in your account. So the euphemism, outstanding balance, is really a fine one instead of the term money owed. Avoid saying this, to pay money that is owed. Instead, use the term to settle an account. Kindly call us back so that we can discuss about the positive options for settling your account. Use euphemisms compensation or compensation package instead of saying it as pay or salary. Look at these examples. The job is fine but my compensation or compensation package is yet to be discussed. 
So instead of saying it as a pay or a salary, we can always say it as a compensation or a compensation package. What kind of compensation package do you expect? So instead of saying it as a salary directly, we can always say or we can always ask, what kind of compensation package do you expect? So try creating your own euphemisms, avoiding the monotony of expressions and hone up your language skills. Thank you.